Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our Big Ten football predictions today, and our next team is Indiana Hoosiers. So Indiana is, of course, a team that's mostly known for their basketball, but in recent years they've uh, slowly become a, a challenge in this Big Ten. For years, uh, they were always towards the bottom of the Big Ten, but the past two years they've been to a bowl game. Unfortunately for them, they've lost both those bowl games in very close fashion. They lost in 2015 in overtime by a field goal, and last year they lost to Utah uh, only by two points, 26-24. to So back-to-back -back six and seven years, which is not bad for a struggling Indiana team who hadn't been to a bowl uh, since 2007, before that 2015 season. This year, if you do remember, they let go uh, Kevin Wilson, at, at, at head coach. They would, uh, re maintained their defensive coordinator, and Tom Allen promoted him to head coach now. Kevin Wilson is now the offensive coordinator at Ohio State. Uh, but the good thing is Tom Allen is now their head coach, and he returns nine uh, defensive starters, and he was a defensive coordinator. So I think the defense will be a strength, and then they have six uh, returners on offense. I do have faith in their offense. They're led by senior quarterback Richard Legault, one of the most underrated quarterbacks in this Big Ten, and then Nick Westbrook, a wide receiver. Uh, he's only a junior, so it's going to be a very dangerous uh, quarterback-wide receiver duo there at Indiana. So I'm very excited to watch this team and see how they do and see if they can get to a third straight bowl. So... Opening up the season against Ohio State on that first Thursday of college football, August 31st. Uh, you know, those first, those opening games, especially conference games, are always very hard uh, not to predict, but uh, you never know what's going to happen because everybody's a little rusty. For months, they've just been playing against themselves, you know, scrimmages, practices. So this is the first game they're actually going to get to face against another team. And uh, Indiana is no sleeper. They are, you know, they, they're on the rise, like I said, the past two years. And they're going to be dangerous on offense. I wouldn't be surprised if Tom Allen brings the intensity. They've got a chance to upset a top five, uh, a top five team here in Ohio State, uh, and it's at home. So what what could be better for a team that has a little bit of high expectations, new head coach, uh, good defense, good I mean everything? Signs are all pointing up for Indiana in this Ohio State game. And better yet, they have Kevin Wilson at Ohio State. A little revenge there uh, since he was fired from Indiana for you know reasons. Uh, so we got uh, this game against Ohio State. I'm very excited to watch this one. I do not think Indiana will be able to pull off the upset, but do not be surprised if this game is very close. Uh, because, like I said, early season games tend to be close because everybody's a little rusty. So do not be surprised if Indiana gives Ohio State a little bit of a scare, uh, maybe till the very end or at least till late in the fourth quarter because I think Indiana could potentially scare Ohio State. Just don't think they're going to be able to pull off that major upset, and what a win it would be for Tom Allen in his first year. And then the schedule gets easy for three straight games. I wouldn't say Virginia is an easy game, especially since it's on the road, but I think they're a couple years out with Bronco Mendenhall to get to the point where they're going to be challenging these guys. Coming off a, a close, I think what could be a close loss to Ohio State, um, I think they're going to want to get uh, bounced back. I think they will get the win over Virginia here. And then... Uh, it's a pretty easy game there against Florida International and Georgia Southern. Florida International also has a very good quarterback themselves, but don't think they'll be able to compete with Indiana, especially since it's on the road. And then the same with Georgia Southern. Uh, they're a very dangerous running team as well, uh, so hopefully Indiana's defense will be able to shut that down. Uh, they've upset or come near to upset some people before, so I also would not be surprised if the game's close if uh, Georgia Southern catches Indiana by surprise if Indiana sleeps on them. Don't see that happening. I think Indiana will get the win. There, I had to put the W down a little bit. And then uh, conference play starts up for real this time, not just the opener. At Penn State, what a horrible way to open up your second conference game. Penn State, such a dangerous team uh, this season, could potentially win this division, this Big Ten East. Uh, really, the only competitor, I think, will be Ohio State. Uh, and as I've said repeatedly throughout my Big Ten videos, uh, the combination of Tracy McSorley, a quarterback, and uh, Saquon Barkley at running back is just going to be very dangerous. And James Franklin, I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's got this team on the rise uh, and, and amped up because they missed out on the playoff last year. So don't think Indiana will be able, be able to go on the road and defeat Penn State this season. I think they're just going to be too tough of a team. Uh, and then they get their bye week, luckily. 3-2, and two, which is not a bad start for them. Only three, week, uh, three games away. Uh, three wins away from a bowl game. Then they get Michigan all, coming off the bye week. They're rested. Michigan's a team that uh, Indiana has played close these past two years that they've made a bowl. Remember, two years ago, they took Michigan to double overtime, but unfortunately lost. And last year, uh, they only lost to Michigan by 10. And at that point, Michigan was also very highly ranked and looking at college football playoffs. So only losing them by 10. And they were with them very close up until a certain point. So uh, this thing they get them at home, well, I think they really 
could have the potential to beat this Michigan team, uh, especially because I do think Michigan will take a little bit of a step back this season. Uh, but I think in the end, Jim Harbaugh is going to have this team fired up. He knows what he's doing. Uh, and depending on how Michigan's doing, you'll have to look at my Michigan video. Uh, they might need this win just as badly as Indiana needs it. And I think Michigan, in the end, is going to be the better team. Even though I do see them taking a step back, I think they're going to be the better team over Indiana. And I'm going to give Indiana the loss to Michigan. And then, unfortunately for them, they get Michigan State on the road right after that. Michigan State team that uh, struggled a lot last season, but I think will improve this season. And I think uh, with it being on the road, that's going to be very tough for Indiana, especially coming off uh, what could be a devastating loss to Michigan, uh, a big blow to their season, uh, dropping them down to 500. And I think they're going to dip below 500 with the Michigan State loss up here, unfortunately. And then another road game at Maryland, a team that's always middle of the pack, Big Ten, or has been recently. Uh, usually this year, and I think last year they were projected towards the bottom, but they usually uh, were able to get out about six or seven wins a season. Uh, but with it being on the road and with Indiana desperately needing a win, I think they will get the win over Maryland uh, because I think Indiana just has the more talent right now. The 15 starters uh, is going to come in huge, especially the nine on defense. And like I've said before, I do have faith in Richard Lego at offense. He does remind me a little bit of Nate Sudfield, who was at Indiana before him. So uh, he's like the next leading passer, and they really were in a good position with him. Get the win over Maryland, back up to 500. Dip back down below 500 with a loss to Wisconsin because I feel like Wisconsin is the best team in the Big Ten West by far. They've got uh, probably the most experience in that division. Uh, they're, they're hungry to get back and win the Big Ten Championship after that loss to Penn State last year. That could potentially, uh, could have potentially propelled Wisconsin into the college football playoff as well. So uh, I think they're going to lose to Wisconsin, even though that game's at home. I just think Wisconsin's too good of a team. Luckily for Indiana, just like many other teams in the Big Ten, don't know how those schedules play out like that, they end the season with three straight games against fairly weaker Big Ten teams. Uh, most notably, obviously, Rutgers. Uh, but then Illinois and Purdue are no powerhouses themselves. Uh, so luckily they end with that, and they only need two wins to get back to a bowl game. Uh, now they're at four wins after that Maryland win. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark down a win for Rutgers. At home, Second, the last game of the season, that's going to be huge for them. So now they're at five wins. At Illinois, at Purdue, uh, Purdue could uh, be a little more improved than they have been last season. I know they got a new head coach this year, so it might take a little while. And that might be a rebuilding season, but I could see them getting uh, a few more wins they had last year. But I think Indiana will get the win over the Boilermakers. So they're at six wins. And then at Illinois, another team that I think is also uh, could improve this year and will eventually get back to that bowl game, which is what their standards are right now, it's just to get to a bowl game. And, uh, but for right now, coming off a tough loss to Wisconsin at home, I think Indiana will get the win at Illinois. They're very fortunate to have three straight games against weaker teams, uh, getting all the big dogs out of the way. So with that, I have Indiana getting a 7-5 and five record. Making a third straight bowl game. Cracking the seven win mark. Because the past two years they've made bowl games but could not do that. So they have the potential to get eight wins this season, which would be phenomenal under a first-year head coach in Tom Allen. That would be huge. Uh, I know a lot of people will disagree with that, saying he's a first-year head coach. Uh, it's, it could be a rebuilding year, but they hire from within, and that's huge. When you hire from within, that changes everything. And a defensive coordinator, when you hire within with your defensive coordinator, and they return nine starters, that's going to be huge. And as I've repeatedly said throughout this video, I think their offense is in good hands. I really do. Richard Legault and Nate Westbrook uh, are in, they're, they're going to lead this team on offense. And so Tom Allen has the potential, I think, to lead this Indiana team to eight wins. Uh, at the bare minimum, seven. I hope they, work, they do get that bowl game this season, though. I hope they win it uh, since they've lost uh, two devastating games the past two years. Uh, but nonetheless, I think Indiana will make a third straight bowl and uh, get that seven win mark that's eluded them these past two years. So a great season for the Hoosiers, for sure. And that's about it. So uh, we're going to continue our Big Ten football predictions. We still have a lot left to cover. And then we also have our Big 12 predictions. So stay tuned because here over the next few weeks, or over the next week, we're going to be posting tons of videos. Uh, I do apologize for the short break we've had these past few days. Uh, but please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to share our videos. The more you share them, the more they grow. Uh, and we're not going to stop doing videos once the season starts. So the more you share them, 
the more people look at them and we're just going to keep going through predictions and we're going to share some more predictions throughout the season uh, as teams do uh, work better or worse than I predict, uh, predict. So it's going to be a lot of fun and we want as many views and comments as we can get. Uh, and we'll see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.